in this small video I will show you how to make a nut like this one um, and um, let's get started so I'll just delete this it's not here and we will try to uh, to make that, uh, that nut again um, over here you can see the parts you have been using in your assembly so far and um, this is actually the nut I want to uh, to place here so if I have already used it then I can just you know, highlight it with my mouse and then pull it in to my assembly like so and then I can mount it by marking the center there we go and then mark the center of my um, of my machine foot or what is called here and now those two uh, the center of the nut and the center of the of the foot has been made it and now I want to make the you know the underside of the the plane yeah uh, I was marked just a moment ago I want to make the underside of the nut with the top of the plate but it can be hard to select that uh, and I don't want to you know um, turn the whole assembly uh, around just to just to see the surface so I can just pull my mouse over it and wait a bit and now the right uh, now the right mouse button has been uh, has been highlighted so I can click that one and then select the plane click that and click the top of the of the plate now and uh, it has been made it and then uh, right click or <coughs> you can try to delete that again if you want to uh, <coughs> to make a, a new part then you can uh, use your parts library over here and then um, I have a folder called parts and then nuts m6 and I want to use that one so I pull that one in and uh, then it's the same <coughs> as uh, previous but if I just cancel that one <coughs> then I need to click the assemble button up here and then click the part or the center line in the part anyway now that part is highlighted and I can move it so I right click now no I don't I click the center over here and move my mouse over it right click select the plane and the top of the plate here and uh, that's it that's how I made uh, two parts in solid edge see ya